Uh, I would like to either build or read. Who would like to um, Who would like to play with me? I'm always up for it. I'm, I'm game too. Would you rather to? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Do you want to build? Death. Do you want to read? Well, I have read twice and builded zero times. So do you want to try building? I could build. Okay, let's do that. I will read for you this time. All right. All right. <laughs> and I think everything is still out. So it appears to be. All right. Including the horn. Which is an important component. The, the horn? Oh, the horn. Honk yeah. to acknowledge. The horn of Lego. Oh, Please. no. <laughs> God. The, the chaos so gremlin energy. Honk means I have done this. <laughs> yes, chef. <laughs> One honk for yes, two honks for no. All right, engineering. <laughs> give Three us... honks for repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> Four, four honks for help. <laughs> oh, somebody Need a got, tug. Somebody just... did uh, get the full message. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, I think they remembered. They were watching. Oh, mm. yeah. Oh, dang. Sorry. I was hoping that somebody had translated it. It looks like we finished uh, step 74. I believe you. And Let's get uh, 25 minutes up on the clock. We're going to start step 75 because that's where we were left. Uh, you're going to need uh, one teal plate. It's a one by six. I have this. I need you to orient that Joy-Con looking thing uh -huh. so, so that the um, so that the curvy bits are facing south. They're facing towards you. And the flat, the flattest part, the longest flattest part is facing away from you. I have done this. Okay. I need you to just... In, in that little gap that's six pips wide uh, between yeah. between the arches, and you need to just slide the thing in there. This, this isn't attached, it's gonna be just free slide in. So you're basically creating like yet another step down. Uh, you said there's a gap that's six pips wide? Yes. Um. <laughs> I do like Joy-Con controller with little grabby hands yeah, in news. cuffs. Okay, uh, <laughs> let, let's try this. Uh, is there a gap um, at the very bottom of the of the uh, of the Joy-Con? That's is there a gap at all? There, yes. There is a gap. Okay. 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 I see. Yeah. Yeah. Is is the gap uh, larger than six pips? Uh, no. Sorry. There is a gap which is six pips. It's on the bottom. The very very bottom. Yeah. So, but so basically, where the where the where the curves end, it kind of cuts in for like a that would fit a one by six piece. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Slide that one by six in there. That's step seventy five. I have done. This. I have done this. Or should I say? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> oh. Hey. Perfect. Uh, step seventy six. You need three pieces. You need these are all teal pieces. You need. One, hmm, it's a, it's a, it's a shallow arch piece, a shallow curve piece that has, it has two flat sides, but the top would be like shallow curve thing. Uh, it's going to be a four by three, four wide, three tall. I, Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, yeah. How many did I need? Uh, you need one of those. I have this. Okay. You're going to need two. Uh, one by three teal pieces that are the same slope on top. That they're two, one, uh, sorry, two one by three teal like smooth arches nice. curves. Yeah. Uh, so you need to put one of those one by threes on either side of the uh, of the four by three, such that they all make a nice curve together. And then you need to use that entire. Uh, curve that you've come up with, you're basically continuing the curve that the size of the Joy-Con already created. You're kind of just creating a long, smooth, curvy um, uh, surface, all sloping down and whatever. So you're covering a space, um, you're covering that one by six that you just put down, and then the uh, two by six worth of um, uh, pips that are on the, the one step up from it. That will leave a one by six row of pips at the very top of your curve. Exposed. Okay. So a one 
by six. There should be a one by six row of pips that's at the very top. When you put when you put all these things down on the on the basically you're covering the one by six that you just put down on, on at the very bottom. You just slid that one into place. That's the low step for these curves. And then the rest of the, the curvy pieces will fit onto the two by six that's just just above that one by six. The top of the one by six I just put down, it's not available to put a brick on. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Right, because it just went underneath the... That's correct. Oh, oh well, mm, a hint. Mm, let me see what I can do here. It went underneath, you say. As I said, the gap, the one by six gap was on the bottom. I'm just, I'm just going back a little bit to see how far they were able to work in and amongst themselves. Uh, okay. Uh, David? Yes? Uh, we're going to call the piece that has eyes on the front and ears, we're going to call it the headpiece. I could see you calling it that, yes. Okay, cool. So if you rotate... Or away from the face, uh, I guess we'll call this the the neck side that has the little that has the green um, post on the back. Yes. Uh, are there teal pieces covering, uh, like teal big teal curves that um, I should maybe ask this? Are there any dark or mid green pieces um, that are that are facing the same direction as the as the post? Or is the post the only dark green piece you can see from the very back, from the next side? The post is the only dark green. So there's a mid green. There's also four mid green pips visible on either side. But not facing you from the back. Facing towards me. Yeah, fa yeah you're staring down. Side. Yeah, they're just on the side, on either side. Okay, then I understand that that did get done the way I would expect it to do. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just have a boo at 73 here. Um, Okay, that one by six that you slid into position, you uh, that you slid in, you said is not available. Uh, Cause it is it is the one by six attached to anything? Yes or no? Yes. Oh. Okay. Um, please detach that one by six from whatever you've attached it to. Yeah, you might need the orange uh, tool to help remove it. They're a little, they're a little uh, fiddly. I've done this. Okay. <coughs> Let's think about it in this way. Um, the Joy-Con looking assembly that you're looking at, uh, face the, 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 make it horizontal with the curves uh, facing south. I've done this. Big flat edge along the north. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, cool. The number of exposed pips that you can see on this on this Joy-Con piece should be 18. It should be three rows of six. Are there three rows of six pips each? No. Huh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, are there less than. Uh, mm, I don't want to do this. Uh, are there less than 18 exposed pips? No. Are there more than 18 exposed pips? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, Are there smooth, like, quarter domes covering any part of this Joy-Con, or... Uh, yes. Yeah, there are? Okay. Yes. Beside the quarter domes, uh, immediately north of where the quarter domes are, are there two curved pieces that are sloping down following the same curve? Yes. Yes, yeah, so just immediately north, they're, so they'd be kind of like, they'd be sloping off to the, to the west and sloping off to the east. Yes. Yes. And they're, they're kind of mated together with the domes so they all kind of form the same curve, yes? No. 
There is a step. There is a step. The, the domes are lower. Take the domes off. Yes, take the domes off. I remember Ian saying this didn't make sense. Great. But <laughs> he, 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 had, he had sort of gone through it two or three times, and it always ended up in the yeah. same spot. So he was like, I guess that's how it's got to be. The domes have six pips, <laughs> or they have, they have six pops on the bottom. Is that correct? No. The dome should have room for six pops on the bottom. No. These are quarter domes. Are they quarter domes? Yes. Can you find me a quarter dome that is uh, has has six pips on the bottom? There is single step. They should have room that you could plug in six pips. So, so confirm each quarter has six. Each quarter should have should have uh, should basically be like it's a it's a pizza slice looking kind of it's a wedge, right? It's a quarter dome, um, and it should have. Uh, room for uh, on a on a step up. It should have room for th uh, three pips in an L shape, and uh, and then there, um, yeah, in in the upper step of the. It's a very flat kind of um, dome. Uh, it only has a single step up, and in that space is an is uh, three pips in an L shape. Can you, if if you can find those, we would need two of them. So maybe what you have is the correct pieces. It would not surprise me if you did have the correct pieces. Okay. On the underside of that of the of the dome, the quarter dome, the wedge that you're looking at. Yes. On the under uh, on the underside of the quarter dome that you have. Um, uh, does it have a, a a section to plug in? Like the the quarter dome that you have should have a single step up underneath. There's yes. only there's only one single step. Does it have room for three pips? Three total. Yeah, just on just on the just on the step up. No. Wow. Okay. Are and could could the dome could the pieces you're looking for have been used like in the other part there? <laughs> they are teal, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. I mean, I don't know. They didn't do any work in that part of the. I think it would. I don't think they did anything else. Yeah. They would have attached. I'm looking back at step 72, and what they would have attached was basically uh, two arches, not domes, um, per per two by two by four brick. On the back of the head. And I wasn't watching that carefully because I was more just enjoying the fact that they were having a, a hard time making this work. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, um, let's talk about the let's talk about the other arch piece you have. The arch piece that you have is a is a one by three. Is that correct? One wide, three long. Yes. Okay. I have these. It has a single it has a single pip on the lower step and two pips on the upper step. Yes. Or pops rather. And it has a smooth curve on the other side that 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 kind of that ramps up from the low step to the high step. Yes. Yes. Okay. With the quarter domes that you have, if you were to just put those beside each other, do they feel like they're making a complete curve? Like the the piece like just kind of butts up against it on on one flat edge. Like if you put two flat edges together, you can make them feel like it's one complete curve. Yes. So maybe these are right, but I'm not thinking about them the right way. Uh, on the on the uh, on the handle of the pizza side of this quarter dome, right, the, it's the low edge, whatever you want to call it, are there two cutouts that, can you see two cutouts at the, at the bottom of that the quarter dome? 
where, where pips would slide into it. So if you take the, the wedge that the, the quarter dome, the wedge, um, on the low side, right, because you want to have the smooth side facing up, so on the, on the, on the pop side, yes. if you look along the handle edge, are there two little cutouts no. in the plastic? Hmm. No. Huh. What piece is this? If you look on the, if you, okay, if you look on the, um, on the assembly itself, that you're fitting these onto. Do you see on the curve, uh, on one of the curves, uh, on the on the assembly, does it have two little cutouts in the side of the piece? Yes. Okay. So the the dome that you have doesn't have those same cutouts on its edge. Correct. So those little yeah, I think I think those pieces that you're pointing at there, David, might be. Not the right piece. No, no, well, I, I think I see some of the pieces that you were talking about on a different part of the assembly, or a different part of because they construction. are they on the head. Yes. Can you pull the, those two big chunks off of the head? I two big chunks. There should be on the so this is back to seventy two on either side of the of the dark green post. Um, you're gonna see uh, some curves. Uh, that obviously then don't belong there and a couple of they're attached to some 2x4 bricks I need the 2x4 yes. bricks to come off and the curves to come with it. Yes, I have done this. Holy crap. Okay Let's go back to step 72 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think we yeah, so I think the idea was that there's there's two type there's two types of quarter circle things that are uh -huh. different in subtle ways. And they would make sense because if you call them wedges and other things that you wouldn't expect them to be things so we're going to differentiate between arches and domes. Arches have two flat sides on either, on either side of the big sloping, uh, like uh, an arch would be like if you put two of these together at, at the end, you'd have two flat sides and you'd have, but you'd have like a, a, you'd have like a curvy side that's on the top. You'd have two flat sides facing north and south if you were to stand these things up. Yes. I think that kind of makes sense. Okay, step 72. I need two teal bricks that are two by four. Great. I need four arch pieces. These arch pieces are weird. They are um, they are two by three, and they have a high step. So the lowest the lowest side of this arch is going to be a two by two, and then the re the remaining two pips, a one by two sized remaining pips, are on a very high step. This is a very uh, this is a, like a very aggressive quarter curve to it. I have these. You have these. You have four of them. Yes. Okay. I need you to take two of them and attach them to one of the one of the uh, two by four bricks. Here's how you do it. Take one of your two by four bricks, or orient it vertically. On the you want and you want these things to uh, basically hang off the side. You're going to uh, you want to make like a, a big flat surface is all going to be on. So your two arches, uh, the one by two sections are going to attach to uh, the. Two, the, the, uh, we have a vertical brick, beach, what are we gonna call those two pips? It's the westmost column. You're covering all four pips of the westmost column. You're covering all four of those with these two pieces. I've done this. Great, make a mirror of that. With the other, with the other two pieces and the other, and the other brick. <laughs> So, take those two sub-assemblies, <laughs> and what you want to do is you want to you want to slide them back onto the head, and uh, where they're going to intersect with the the uh, the green uh, the mid green uh, four uh, eyes that are facing off of the side, uh, you want that to be a smooth follow over from the side. So basically, yeah, you're you're having them cover up a lot of those holes and the side comes over smoothly into the rest of the, the curve. The side of the head curves over top of these arches. Does that make sense? Yes. Great. Done this. Yeah. Uh, so this is, is one of these things where it was wrong, but in a way that didn't actually reveal itself. Yeah. Mm. All right. I'm going to assume that step 73 is correct uh, because what you should be looking at I'm gonna assume it's correct. Why the hell not? That sounds like fun. Okay, uh, David, 
you should have you should have uh, two of these wedge type smooth shallow dome pieces, mm -hmm. but they have two cutouts in the bottom of them. I so have these. Great. <laughs> Uh, I want you to uh, I want you to mate those uh, to either side of the Joy-Con, so that they're covering six pips, but they match the curve on either side. I cannot comply with this direction. Let's rebuild this piece. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, David, on the north side of this piece, um, let me see how we can start with this. This is so. Cannot weird. comply. This is a, I gave them a really hard one to do, and I did not know that was coming. Okay, uh, David, on the north side of uh, this piece, does it have a couple of teal plates that have four little grabby um, uh, hands coming off the side at dead center? Yes. Okay, cool. So maybe they might have gotten that correct. Um, I'm sorry, Beesh. I'm afraid I can't do yeah. that. I can't complain with this. Okay. So snug up against those grabby hands, is there a horizontal two by three that's snug up against each one of the plates that have the grabby hands? Can you tell that from where you're looking? No. Okay, can you pop the one by six up off the top of that assembly? Maybe. Okay, is there a one by six underneath it? Stand by. Okay, if there is, you can leave them both mated together, it won't. Uh, yeah, so two one by sixes on top of Sandwiched on top of each other, yes. Are they on top, And but they're both sandwiched completely perfectly on top of each other? Yes. Okay, you can pop those two off at the same time. You should now have access to the uh, to the two by two plates that have grabby hands off the side. Yes. Are they both snug up against to each other sideways? Yes. Right, it's not sideways, but you know what I mean. They're making it. They're making a four by two plate, essentially, with yes. grabby hands. Okay, cool. Is that dead center on the whole assembly? Like, uh, it's oriented in the dead center of the assembly, but it's on the most north side? Yes. Yes, okay. So now, directly beside, uh, directly to the west of um, the, the, the westmost 2x2 two two with the grabby hands, is there a horizontal 2x3 plate? No. No. Is there a horizontal 2x3 two, two plate on the assembly still? Somewhere. No. <laughs> Could you find two? I'm sorry, could you? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you Go pop? find a horizontal two. <laughs> Are Dig the, a hole. Can, Your uh, quest. Disassemble this piece. Take, take the grabby hand plates off. Take the whole thing apart. I wanted to Wasn't work. Wasn't it nice that Julie and Ian helped us the, with this? I mean, it was fun. It was, you know, this is entertainment, obviously. <laughs> we'll get there, though. We might put another like, might put another like eight minutes on the clock. Not yet, but we'll see where we get to. I want to see. Maybe we, we also do a third building tonight. <laughs> you're, you're, you're almost out of time on it's the clock. It's true. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get it all. They've actually today. moved backwards now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should, I should have, I should have thought about that. Okay, have you completely disassembled the, pie, the all the pieces? Yes. Okay, cool. I need you to find the following: uh, all teal plates, all teal plates. I need two. Two by twos with grabby hands. I have these. I need four two by threes. I have these. I need two pizza wedges that have six pips on top. I have these. They're quarter, they're quarter wedges, right? I need two one by fours. I have these. I need four one by sixes. Great. Did you have any other pieces? Yes. Okay. Well, those are the only pieces you need. <laughs> Wonderful. Cool. We're going to get there. Here's what I would like you to do. Uh, take take a one by six, orient it, ver uh, sorry, or orient it horizontally. And I've done this. Okay. Take a pizza wedge. Uh, I want you to... Uh, s snug it up against the side of the one by six of the of the first three pips uh, underneath uh, on, on the south side. So you have a one by six on top or one by six to the north and then below that uh, uh, next to the first three pips on the south side 
I want you to snug up a uh, uh, the wedge such that the curve is the curve is on the southwest corner. I've done this. Okay, and when you take a two by three, orient it horizontally. I want you to snug that up into the open right hand angle that we've created, so, so that the four five uh, the four five and six pips of the one by six um, are are snug up against. Um, the top one, two, three of the two by three. So you're basically three pieces that are essentially floating, but they're all kind of they're all kind of sitting right next to each other. So nothing is attached; they're just floating, right? Yes. Cool. I want you to take uh, another two by three, turn it horizontally, and I want you to cover uh, pips two, three, and four of the one by six. Uh, with the top one, two, three of the northmost one, two, three. So you're going to cover six pips here with that two by three. It's going to contact six pips in total. And you want the northwest pip uh, to, to be on pip number two of the one by six. I have done this. I want you to take a one by four horizontal. I have this. I want pip number four to cover... On the lower two by three, I want you to cover the pip number six. So the the, the last pip of the of the southmost row. The the southeast corner pip, essentially. And you're gonna cover all you're gonna you're gonna attach this to four pips entirely. It's gonna cover four pips entirely, and pip number four is covering that southeast corner pip. I have done this. Great. All three pieces are now attached together, correct? Yes. Great. I want you to mirror that. So, yeah, this, this, I think that's the step where things went awry. Yeah. That was the one that they kept having to rebuild and do it multiple times, and we're not, we're not satisfied when it actually came together. So something went awry there. Yeah. I don't quite know how, but. <laughs> okay, you have you have two. Uh, you have two horizontally flipped uh, pieces with the curves that are towards the south, right? Yes. I want you to take uh, both the short ends, the short flat ends, uh, and I want you to face them towards each other so it makes it look kind of like a Joy-Con, right? Yes. You should now have a lower kind of divot section in the middle that's uh, two by four, am I correct? Yes. Okay. I want you to place the two, two by twos with grabby hands in that divot with the grabby hands facing north. I have done this. I want you to take those uh, remaining one by sixes. Uh, they should be sandwiched together probably. Yes. Yes, I want you to just put those over the the top, the northmost four pips of those grabby hands uh, with a pip on either side of the other two assemblies. Uh, you're, you're basically using this to join everything together. I have done this. Awesome, that's step 73. We have time to go on? Uh, yeah. Step sure. 74, you're gonna need that uh, one by three arch that we talked about earlier, the smooth arch. Yes. And you'll need uh, the uh, s uh, quarter domes that have the two cutouts on the edge. I have these. Okay. Uh, using, I want you to take that dome and I want you to mate it to the, uh, to the, uh, the pizza wedge. You should be able to cover six pips right now and they should all contact. I have done this. Do it for the other side. I have done this. All right, immediately north of both of those domes, you're going to put those arches on so they complete the curve. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Step 75. We're back in business. Nice. I need a 1 by 6 teal plate. I see. This this looks more like the uh, conversation pit that Julie was talking about. I yeah. can see what's going on here. So uh, I need you to just slide that into that little 1 by 6 gap in the bottom. It's not going to be attached yet. I have done this. Great. Uh, step 76. I need, uh, remember that big wide kind of uh, uh, four by three uh, smooth arched curve thing that we got? Yes. And the two uh, one by threes that, that are the same curve and they go beside it? Yes. I need to put all, all three of those pieces uh, on the lower uh, three by six to complete the curve. Um, and frankly, I don't, it's supposed to go short, long, like 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 skinny, wide, skinny is how they're supposed to go. But 
effing whatever at this point. <laughs> I have done this. Is there a one by six horizontal line across the top of pips? Yes. Yes, that's step 76. Yay! <laughs> Are we done? Do we keep going? I mean, I think some time got added to the, t to the timer, but currently you've got four minutes left. Sure. Step 77. Uh, you're going to need four pieces, all teal. You need two one by two plates with hollow pips on the top and the bottom. So it's a four pip plate essentially, right? I have these. Great. You're going to need two teal plates. They are pizza wedges. They would normally, if they were squares, it'd be three by three, obviously, but they, these are pizza wedges. They have a round side. They're quarter, they're a quarter circle. So they only have six pips on top. two plates, hollow pips uh, on either side, Yeah, happiest. two quarter circle pizza wedges that have six exposed pips on top. Because it would be a three by three if they were a square, but they're not a square. They have a, they have a round on them. So you're looking for basically the same piece that we used before uh, that the dome would go on. This is the same size. understand the piece you're looking for. I have one of these. Oh. Uh oh. Like well, it shouldn't have, another one shouldn't have gotten used. So maybe it fell off into the box. Quick floor check. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, somebody check the box because we did have a little, we did have a little spill and it might just be in the box. You do have one though, right? I do have one. Let's yes. build half of this because it's going to be a mirrored piece. I want you to take the 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 Joy-Con assembly we've created. I want you to roll it over away from you, so it remains horizontal, but you're you're rolling it over so you can see the underside. The curves are now north, and the grabby hands are facing south. I've done this. Great. Ah. Aha. I want you to take uh, one of those pizza wedges, and I want you to stick it right. I want you to stick it on the other pizza wedge. I have both pizza wedges. Great. Put both pizza wedges on there. Thank you, Matthews. Thank you, Matthews. I have done this. You're welcome, David. You're welcome, Beach. Take your one by twos. I want you to stick them into, uh, well, we'll take the first one by two. I want you to stick it in, uh, directly um, south of that pizza, pizza wedge you just put down in spots one and two, essentially. So it's going to be butted up right against like the, 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 um, the edge of the assembly. It doesn't hang over anything. It just horizontally goes in to that one by six that's on the bottom. Two pips go into spaces one and two. I've done this. Do it to the other side. I've done this. Cool. So there should be a, a the what you're seeing now is you're seeing a pip pip, then a row of eight pops, and then pip pip again. Yes. Great. That's 77. <laughs> 78, you need three teal plates. These are two by two. They have hollow pips on the top and the bottom. I have these. Great. Uh, on your sub-assembly, I want you to place one of these two by twos, uh, center it horizontally, and but plug it into the north side. So you're gonna, this is going to be in the center of the piece, uh, so in uh, and it's going to basically connect together that one by six and the two two by threes that you can see in the bottom. That that two by two is basically going to touch all three of those pieces. I've done this. Great. So now uh, you're going to take the two remaining plates. You're going to put them together, like like slide them side by side next to each other, and you're going to create like a little. Uh, you're going. You're going to go directly below the two by two that you put down, 
and you're going to put those that two by four piece that you essentially created, you're gonna slide that in so it's also dead center as well. I've done this. Great, so you kind of have like a weird, like, like it would be like a square sitting on top of two other squares equally spaced? Yes. Awesome, that's step 78. Step 79, we need the head. All right. The time, the timer has gone run out. I don't know if we care, but it has. Let's make this the last step. Okay. Okay. Step 78. Take the head that has the eyes on it. I want the eyes to face you. I've done this. Okay. Are the ears pointing at the sky? Yes. I want you to roll it over <laughs> to the left or the right so that the Ooh. eyes are still facing you, but the ears are on the table. They're movable. He's watching you. Ooh. I have done this. Is the green, dark green post facing to the north? Yes. Great. Okay. Uh, on the bottom of this head, this is the back of the jaw, essentially. So this needs to go, This need, basically you're going to, um, all of the pips that you have put down, they all need to uh, plug into stuff. Um, and you can probably see there's a two by four vertical plate with two one by two vertical plates next to it on the head. Yes. Right? So those squares that you just put down, all of those have to go into those holes. That will also mean that the two by, the one by twos you put down, they're gonna end up plugging into some plates as well. But mostly I'm just trying to get that whole like um, 12 pip situation to land on all those plates. I have done this. That's step 79. And we'll call it there. Nice. Yeah, we done. should call it there. Because it gets more complicated. <laughs> Good job. David, I, I really appreciate it, and I think chat did as well, that, that you were you were kind of doing the like hand, hand motions as if Beige was like narrating a video of somebody making this. I was like, trying to. You were like, like, hold it. Oh, like, here. This is the thing. Point this is what we're talking about. That's so good, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we can't, we don't have a really deep zoom on that camera, so being able to point out and be like, I'm doing this, I'm having this, that's very handy.